This is Dr. Paola Bukov. Come from Netflix Mal Studio and let's remove some calculus today. But no, not the calculus, dental calculus. What is calculus? Calculus is that heart in the black that sits on our teeth above and below underneath our gums. And so for that, the procedure that we do in the dental office is called a deep cleaning. Well, it's actually called a scaling and replanning. Um, but you probably have heard this um, name as deep cleaning. In this video, I'm not going to go in detail about the deep cleaning per se. I'm showing you the removal of the dental calculus um, with a PSO, uh, which is an ultrasonic machine that is going to help us eliminate this. As you can see, even just with a light touch to the gums, they start bleeding. The reason why they're bleeding is because they're inflamed, their disease. This calculus is causing not just inflammation of the gums, it's also causing um, destruction of the bone that is supporting your teeth. For this procedure, the patient is nice and comfortable. She is numb, so she's not feeling any pain. You see the little brown, greenish um, little rock that I'm pointing on with the arrow. That is the dental calculus that we're eliminating very effectively today. Why is a cosmetic dentist talking about calculus and gum disease, periodontal disease? Because in order for me, and for any dentist to do any kind of cosmetic procedure, we need to pay close attention to the health of your gums. Otherwise, the results are not going to be ideal. I'm going to move to the bottom teeth just to show you more of this removal um, of calculus. When we're doing a deep cleaning, we usually do it in sections and in a more systematic way. For purpose of this video, I'm jumping from top to bottom um, so you can see how this initial um, excess is coming out. It's actually pretty satisfying to see. As we continue to watch, you might be wondering what causes this accumulation of calculus. But let me tell you. Calculus, as I said at the beginning, is hardener black. What is black is the film that develops on top of your teeth very quickly after you eat. If you don't brush away that black effectively, at some point, the minerals in your saliva are going to react with this black and it's going to start getting hard. Once it gets hard, you're not going to be able to brush it just at home with your regular toothbrush. The amount of calculus that we find usually changes between patient to patient, but a very common location where we found it is right here behind um, our lower front teeth. In this particular case that I'm showing you, our patient has generalized calculus. She has periodontal disease. Um, but it's not unusual, as I said, to find this calculus on the back of our teeth. Right there, I'm showing you a little bit more in detail. You see those little rocks, yellow, greenish. Um, that's the culprit right there. this initial elimination of the calculus with our PSO machine, what we're going to do is we're going to use hand instruments that are called curettes and scalers so we can more precisely go underneath, underneath the gums around all the surfaces of each tooth. This procedure should be done by a, by a licensed uh, professional. 
Um, and as I said before, it is imperative to take care of it before starting any kind of cosmetic procedure. On this screenshot, you can really see how these gums are really inflamed. They look puffy, they look red, they're bleeding because of the gum disease, the periodontal disease uh, caused by years of calculus accumulation and unfortunately um, poor oral hygiene. In this case, this patient also um, has a lot of crowding of her teeth, which is a contributing factor. On our bottom uh, picture, I'm showing you an example of what healthy gums should look like. They look pink, uh, they're not puffy, and you can see right in between the teeth how beautiful it looks. This is not the same patient. I just wanted to show you an example of what healthy gums um, should look, how gums are supposed to look. I hope you found uh, this removal of calculo video as satisfying as I did. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later.